In part one of this series, we need to figure out how to pick up, transport, and install this 30-foot utility pole. I'm going to do a multiple part video series here about burying a main electric service line uh, from the street to the house. And I'm just going to walk you through what we currently have, which is an aerial line. It's running through all these trees. Uh, the, the stretch is about 300 feet. And we've just had way too many problems with it between limbs falling on it. Uh, and also the line is way too small for the distance. So the voltage drop we're getting, especially in the summertime when air conditioners are running is just way too much. So we're going to replace this with a much bigger gauge underground service wire. There's two poles currently on the property. Here's the first one. You can barely even see it. It's covered in a bunch of vines and ivy. And here's number two. I'm not going to be using either of these two poles. We're actually going to be installing a brand new one way out here at the street so that we can bury as much of the line as possible. All right, so the first step was just trying to track down one of these poles, and a 30-foot utility pole can be kind of tough to find. I got lucky here on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, someone had been using one uh, as a temporary power supply for their house and basically just cut it down, and uh, I was able to get it for 100 bucks. So here's my plan for picking it up. I got my car trailer here with a little bit of uh, rigging, uh, six by six. Try to level it out and strap it down too. This trailer is only 16 feet long and the, the, this pole is close to 30 feet. Um, not really sure how it's gonna work, but I'm, I'm bringing some extra wood and a bunch of ratchet straps and uh, uh, chains and binders and see how this goes. go pick up the help I recruited here and uh, I don't know how well this is gonna go but we're gonna try and get this 30-foot pole up on the trailer hopefully it's not sticking out the back too far and uh, just got to get it home it's about a 40-minute drive from my house up and back so let's see how it goes <laughs> Facebook post said it was easy to get to, but she failed to mention it was just ditched in the weeds here somewhere See the out end? in the country. So we got to pull this thing out first uh, before we can Stickies. we can load it up. plan was to use the winch on this car trailer to do all the heavy lifting for us, but this was right about the time we realized that the battery was toast and the winch was crap.
going up the court, you need to spread down. Actually, we got it home. It went a lot easier than I thought the whole process was going to be, to be honest. And that was even with the winch problems we were having. And uh, honestly, it was just a, a crappy Harbor Freight undersized winch paired with a battery that was poorly charged. And uh, I tried to charge it the day before, but it just it's too old. It wasn't taking a charge. <clears throat> I think with a decent winch and a new battery, it would have been even easier. But now it's just a matter of digging a hole and figuring out how to get a 30 foot pole up in the air.
So what I was able to find is the general depth of the hole for this should be 10% of the pole height plus two feet. So in our case, 30 foot pole, we're looking at 10% of that is three feet plus another two feet. I'm shooting for at least a five foot deep hole here to sink this in. The other thing I decided to do here, which really helped, was dig a trench leading up to my hole. It just gave me a better entry angle for the pole uh, getting it started down into this hole a little sooner. All right, here's my setup. I staked in a little backboard here to keep the pole from sliding and to direct it straight down into the hole. Here's my trench. It's gonna give me a little better approach angle. And we're just gonna start pushing with the tractor. Yeah. So you can, um, it had slid in a little, so you seesawed it up and I pushed it back. So thumbs up means everything's good and this means stop, okay? Don't stand up there, Jay. I don't want you to fall in.
Well, that's it. We were able to get it in and it's set. Um, I can honestly say it's a job that I wouldn't really look forward to doing again. Um, everything went fine, but just sitting on that tractor with uh, a portion of that pole hanging over my head was not something that uh, I'd really look forward to. Um, it really would need a, a piece of machinery that can get up higher than the bucket of my tractor could. So we got it done, but as that, I'm not going to say it was fun. Uh, stay tuned for and check out for part two and part three, where I'm going to be digging the trench for the line and pulling the new service entrance all the way to the house. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all my new videos in the world of property management, renovation, Airbnbs, real estate investing in general, and pretty much any other project I get myself into. Thanks again. Appreciate the support. Don't forget to leave a comment below.